What's going on guys, Camilo here. Happy Friday, December 31st, the last, last day of the year. And amazing, okay, amazing how time flies and um, amazing the opportunities that this year presented. To say the least, this year was pretty weird, pretty awesome, mixed emotions. And so we can't wait to see what happens in 2022. Uh, in terms of trading, now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is I want to do a series of videos between now and next week. And these videos are going to focus on the top stocks that i'm going to keep on watch that have been beat down in 2021 all right stocks that have you know presented massive losses or down significantly since the beginning of the year and or it doesn't matter but there are in the negative maybe just ever so slightly in the positive uh, but overall negative and these stocks could be in rotation in favor for the new year right so this will be on watch for the first quarter okay so i want you guys to uh you know keep those on watch as well but if you want to keep track on them uh with us over at training ways i encourage you guys to join the team the link to the discord group will be pinned down in the comment section okay before we dive into the analysis also don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up to this video and also um, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload this video actually give me a second guys since the markets are still open uh <laughs> Uh, let's do a quick review here all right so the dow taking up higher about to break intraday high Qs are still lagging hovering beneath its intraday resistance at 399 399.50 the spy just broke above its intraday resistance here at 475.94 now this is pretty cool now because see what happens is that if you guys recall in last night's video let's take a quick look here um let, i apologize for deviating from our video just now but if we take a quick look, right, um, you guys remember, right, I, I spoke to you guys suggesting that this might be the wave count. And the wave count here is suggesting that we may see continuation to the upside in this wave five of wave one. So wave one is not completed yet, right? Wave one, if it were to be completed and we were to see further continuation to the downside, then I would have been considering wave one here. But however, based on what's happening now, um, if we continue to the upside, obviously we held support at the 100% extension of wave A versus wave B. So this is likely our three wave pullback in the wave four after this massive rally, this five wave impulsive structure here in the wave three that came into resistance at the spot on 2618. Um, it is likely that we will see further price action. Now this was sandwiched between the 100 and the 1618 of this model degree wave count here. And so targets to the fifth wave here is at 100% of wave one versus wave four at 484.53. Again, should this continue? If not, if we see further price, if, if we see price action heading on lower, then it is likely that we are in the wave two of this degree here. All right, guys, so just that was a quick update, uh, but let's get back to what the video um, was about, right, CGC. So as I mentioned earlier, this was, I, I want to do this video, so review a couple of names with you guys. Uh, this, again, this will be a series of different videos because the list is very, very, very long. And these are some names that were in favor in 2020, uh, but fell out of favor in 2021 due to certain things. So it's not in particular order. There's not in particular uh, of, in, of uh, in the industry. This was just based on my observation. So starting with CGC or Canopy Growth, okay, this is a wee stock. Um, this bearish interpretation, although it is still suggesting for the upside, right? But, you know, the wave C could end any, you know, at the wave A or a little bit further up. But it is suggesting that this was a, a wave, ABC down to the C wave. Now, this stock has been negative 69% since the year started. So this red line represents January 4th of 2021. So all it's been doing, it had a little bit of a pop at, you know, at the beginning, right, till February the 18th. And then it saw its selling pressure down towards um, its $8 handle from all the way to from 56 down to eight. That's a massive loss, guys. All right. So what this means is that this is representing a three-wave pullback, 100% extension of wave A versus wave C. It's appropriate at 824. And then the 50% retracement of wave A to the wave B. So it is finding two levels of confluence here that are pretty appropriate for this for their respective wave counts or wave degrees, if you will. All right, the C wave, the blue count here, and the B wave in the green Fibonacci level, 768, 824. Keep this on watch, guys. Um, over to the bullish count. Uh, the bullish count will suggest otherwise, right? I mean, it will still suggest for the upside, but in the wave three. And the wave three can be, obviously, the one, or it has to be 100% of the wave one. So one, two, three, four, and five completed the cycle of 
this higher degree wave one on uh, September the 26th. We then have five waves down to A, three waves up to B at almost equality of wave A, and then we see five waves down to the wave C. Now, implications are the same. We're still going to look for the $8 handle, $8.45 rather, and $8.24. Again, this is representing a pretty good opportunity should these levels hold. I mean, you know, the way I may look to trade this is that maybe I'll just take a position sometime in, in January, whatever, and keep our stops right below its low of the year. All right, guys. So that's that one. Uh, next one is Zoom. Zoom was obviously in favor in all of 2020 um, due to the everybody working from home and using this service as a means of communication for office meetings and family gatherings and whatnot. So the stock saw a massive, massive rally towards its wave one, right? This is what we're calling a wave one. Now, keep in mind, this is a new issue, right? Relatively new. It IPO back here on April the 19th. Uh, so it's pretty young, right? We we don't have much history yet to label this, but we can, there's enough history here to, to, to do so anyway at the moment. So the bullish count here is suggesting that um, we are in the wave one, completed here on October the 19th, okay? After the year started, we saw a massive sell-off. So we got down in A, B wave was 50% retracement of the wave A, and then we started retracing down again towards the C wave. So the A wave, the B wave, on the, a measured move will give you equality at 100% extension at 182 spot 54. The stock has been down year to date, negative 48%. So again, another one that is in favor for further continuation to the upside. Let's take a quick look at what the higher degree wave uh, fit level will look like, okay? And see, a 50% retracement of the higher degree comes in confluence with the 100% also of the smaller degree. So it's pretty good, all right? We're finding confluences between these two fit levels of the smaller and higher degree relatively, okay? So keep this on watch, guys. Keep this on watch. Um, let's take a look here. Over to Roku. Roku, Roku, Roku. In Roku, I'm, you know, this one is pretty cool, right? I, I love Roku. I, I have a Roku TV. I think a couple of family members also have a Roku TV. Good projects coming along. Um, year to date, negative 30%. Now, again, pretty beat up. Out of the September, sorry, December 18th low, we made wave one, ABC pullback towards the March lows at 50 to 618% retracement. Then we saw this massive, massive, massive rally from 58 handle to the 490 almost 500 handle and that equates to about a 750 percent rally guys that's massive so we're just down 30 percent not much difference from from this big rally here but the wave count here is suggesting obviously the big big level to to get over is its all-time highs as you see it's a double top here but double top pattern at 4976 4976 here okay and this is suggesting that the wave three made its high on February the 20, February uh, 16th of, 20, of 2021, right? We then sold off to the A wave, three waves up to the B wave, and now we're making our final five waves. We could still be within the C wave, but we are representing pretty good levels of support, right? So 38.2, 50% of the higher degree in the green wave, all right? Then we found 1618 support of the small degree uh, correct the pullback, the three wave here, ABC, and then we're also within the support zone of this um, all time high and this clustering here, price action. Okay, so this is representing a good trade opportunity coming into 2022. Okay, guys, so keep Roku on watch. Now, over to Spotify. Let's see, Spotify. Um, Spotify, Spotify, it's a pretty tricky one to. To, to track um, I'll, I'll show you guys why so there isn't much history to be said to be uh, to have here and to digest or dissect rather a wave camp but we'll do our best right stock has been down negative 25 almost 26 percent year to date all right so out of its IPO it was in pretty good sideways consolidation okay we may call this a, a I don't know a double um, a complex correction made up of three waves, one, you know, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, completed the Y wave here. And then we see a one, two, three, four, and five to the first wave. And then we see a really weird corrective ABC pullback. So A up and B, 618% retracement of this overall um, wave decline, wave A. And then we are within the wave C, okay? 
so we can still see for the downside maybe a little bit more anywhere between this zone let's just call this the, the half area so still negative 33 percent left to go before we start seeing some reasonable fib zones for uh for some support this is the short-term bearish count right because um actually bullish count short-term bullish count um or bearish whatever you call it right because we still may see for the downside to go uh the pattern may not you know for this pattern to be complete we want to see the break the break the lows of wave a in order for the wave c to to be anchored and validated otherwise this may still be ongoing to further notice because this does not look like it wants to go anywhere just yet but if we take a quick look at our bearish count all right the bearish count will suggest likely that this is also still within the complex correction okay so three waves to w three waves to x three ways down to y so again until we start seeing a break below these two key levels here so 222 and 199 220 and 199 i mean it is a big gap it is a big um it's a wide range here it's almost a 14 percent 16 percent range uh then it is likely that this will stay sideways we want to see a break of this to con to consider this wave count and vice versa with the bullish count or a break above the b wave and continuation above the x wave to consider for the upside okay i'm not favoring spot too much with spotify rather but it is one to keep on watch over to the last one i want to review for the day is a firm okay a f r m firm holdings so a firm holdings it is positive for the year it is up 17 well, you know plus or minus 17 percent um but i will review two counts okay this is the bearish count the bearish count out of its IPO suggested that we did a wave, ABC to the B wave, okay? Um, and then we are going to start falling further in its C wave. So C waves will normally be made up of three sub or five subdivisions, right? Five sub waves. So one, two, we may see a pop coming into the middle of next month. Uh, who knows, right? We may see continuation. But for now, um, the levels that I am keeping on track for resistance are the 50 and the 38% retracement of this wave one, at which point we will likely start seeing further downside. Okay. If you guys want to keep on watch, keep again, keep track of these stocks. Uh, again, I'm going to release another video maybe later on this evening or tomorrow. No, tomorrow will be a little too much. I'll be hungover, but maybe Monday, Sunday. Sunday, I'll probably release a video with another list of, of, of wave counts for other stocks that have been beat down and have good opportunities. Okay, but again, if you guys want to keep track of these live with us in the trading group, join Trending Ways. Link to the Discord group is pinned down in the comment section or right there in the video. Now, our bullish count will suggest that wave four is about completed already. Okay, maybe the 50% is our level of support, as you can clearly see. So out of its IPO, this made a, a pretty good correction. Market found its pattern or its place in within the market. The market participants rather found its wave. Ugh, market participants found its pattern within the markets rather. Okay. And then we made its wave one. Wave two found 618% retracement support. We then rallied up to the three to the third wave, which is a little bit more than the 2618 overextended. Don't like that too much. But then we have this wave four direction. So as you can see here, this AB or ABC right and then per the guideline of alternation we have a sideways correction in the wave two wave four is pretty much directional okay so for now we are keeping the 9646 and 8444 as our support okay this invalidate this 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 whole wave can will be invalidated once we cross below the 71 handle okay at which point then the bearish interpretation is at play all right guys so uh be on the lookout for the next video Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your time. Happy New Year. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload the videos. Uh, stay, stay safe out there and enjoy your time with your friends and family for this New Year and this weekend. Take care, guys. See you guys Sunday or Monday. Peace out.